Well, a beautiful weekend, but we've all seen the weather and we know that uh, we're gonna return back to some heat. So everyone's talking about their air conditioners and the problems they're having and whether they're keeping up or not. So there's always a few tips and you, you're, you're hearing a lot about them right now. So I thought we'd just go through a few. This uh, using cleaning the outside coils really, really important because the air is pulled in here and if these things get really dirty or if you've had cottonwood or something like that and you haven't had your HVAC company come out and, uh, well, they could have come out early and now it's already full of cottonwood. So you can actually take, well, there's coil cleaner. First of all, you don't have to use this and you can kind of go uh, take a deep dive or just a kind of a, a basic spray. So we're gonna kind of do the basic spray. Now, I turned off this at the breaker uh, some people say you don't have to turn off. I think on the uh, issue of safety, I think I, I would uh, turn that off. This one we tried to turn off, but there's a wasp's nest inside the electrical box. So it may turn itself back on, but <laughs> we're not touching it. So you can spray from the inside. When I say the deep dive, some, some you can actually take this off, but I, I think for most homeowners, you can spray it, spray the coil, you let it sit for a little while, and then we're gonna flush it from the inside out. You can actually rinse on both sides. A leaky hose you would think that I maybe could get a nice hose that didn't leak but then if you look on the bottom you will start to see dirty water and the filth come out of the bottom and so cleaning that is so important all right so you do that you make sure that there's not any uh, any grasses or foliage or shrubs that are growing up and blocking that. So that kind of maintains the outside. And again, two, three times a year is not an unreasonable amount of time. I got a few things to show you inside as well. All right, so everyone talks about pulling down the window shades. Good idea from about 10, 11 in the morning till, uh, you know, five, six at night. But what I found with my windows when I was pulling this up, because, you know, in the nice, days we have the windows open well remember all those windows that pull down from the top mine had slid down so i am actually allowing warm air so make sure you check those be a good idea be a good idea for security to lock them too and then drop those shades and pull them and then you are ready to spy on your neighbors neighbor ted has a new swimsuit all right i got one more thing i want to show you over here all right filters so important because filters, if you're not changing them, get clogged. And when you get clogged, you reduce the airflow, puts even more stress on your uh, furnace and air conditioning system. So here's the, the, the little tip. Some of these things are really high efficiency. And if you're not uh, organized like I am not, you probably shouldn't use them because they're so efficient, they gather a lot of dust and they clog quickly. So you really have to, you know, I don't, I think sometimes changing once a month is not a bad idea. So you have to be really careful about that. As far as the uh, thermostat, you know, everyone talks about, uh, you know, 78 degrees is the perfect temperature. Who are these communists? 78 degrees is too hot. I usually set it at 70, you know, so it does get it a little bit of a workout. We try to push it up a couple degrees at night. So, and I also run the fan. If you run the fan 24 hours a day, and now it sounds like that's ah, really bad, but running the fan can kind of even out the, the cool air in your house. So just a few tips and hopefully we'll all get through this together.